Coglin Street, Brompton, the pedestrian access is to get from one side of the railway line to the other during the construction period till the 15th of January. West Street, Brompton, the pedestrian crossover is being reconstructed across the railway line. Coming up to what was the Brompton Gas Works, this was the South Australian Gas Company, which was a government owned gas company that used bitumen coal from New South Wales to produce town gas. The road underpass underneath the lower line, alongside what was the Brompton Gas Works, there used to be kilns here that roasted the coal to boil off the town gas and leave coke behind. So it was an area of extreme heat from the blast furn the, the furnaces which were roasting the coal and when the doors of the kilns were open the hot coke would be released to the air and the fumes would come out. So the area around here in times past was rather smelly. It's now been redeveloped with housing. Looking west towards Coglin Street, and you see that the uh, tracks are being relayed. The clearance here is 2.9 meters and you can see it's been hit a few times by trucks and uh, other vehicles. From Chief Street looking east at this point, the cutting will lower the rail line down to the Brompton station. Looking back at Colgan Street, we have now another section of this country. And then you start to see into the cutting. The old Brompton railway station get to see a view out the window from the restaurant. The view from the, uh, railway, the old railway station looking down into the cutting the pedestrian bridge in a late stage development. of what's going to be built here and I think we are standing at this point just there. A new bridge is being built across the road. And looking forward where the railway station actually be located. to the point where there used to be a well level crossing. This is the site of the rail level crossing. And this is now
the best gym in the Hunter Park underneath in New England. Looking towards the inner ring route and this is now the cutting. Looking towards the actual junction. So this is the actual junction and we can see that the line from Outer Harbour is going underneath this point and we can see on the far side the cutting where the line emerges to the surface looking towards the other tiles. I'm working on the switching mechanism on the line for Port and Grange and Osborne. And we've got a different kind of vehicle crossing over the bridge. Returning with a load of ballast. No metro trains are running at the moment because of the construction work. It becomes a freight train. Heading towards the flying junction, which is the Torrens Junction. And the uh, Locomotives are just about to cross over. The flying junction. But we can see the dirt's being dug out from underneath the rail bridge. And the engine's just going over the junction now. This train is around about 1.8 kilometers in length. And there's only single stack because of the fact that the tunnels in the LA Hills have to have their floors lowered if they want to have double stacking.
actual emergence of the Osborne and Grange lines at the Torrens Junction 